We've looked at equity and debt. We'll now go on and look at the stock and bond markets, stock mean shares. So this just means that you can buy and sell shares and bonds. Not only shares, I think everybody realises that shares actually get bought and sold on a, on a market. But you can do the same thing with bonds as well. Remember what we said about bonds, bonds are tradable. Now we're really here thinking more along the lines of the um, the listed company markets perhaps. So let's have a think about why this might actually happen. Why do we have a market to buy and sell shares? Well, we have a market for buy and sell shares for two reasons. One, to trade things so that if someone doesn't want something anymore, they can sell it to somebody else. But also, having a market is a really good way of companies raising finance. What it will actually do is um, provide them with uh, more opportunity to actually generate um, funds. In order to be able to trade on a market, you need to be listed. And there are two ways in which you can actually sell your shares on a on a stock market you can just offer them to the public and sell them to anybody so an initial public public offering which is an ipo or you can do what's called uh, placing and if you go for placing then you allocate your shares to a small number of large investors which is probably a little bit more efficient way of getting rid of them so having this trading market actually has a significant advantage, doesn't it? It means that companies can sell their shares on this open market and they have an access to a wider pool of funding because there are more people available to potentially buy their shares. Also, if you, it says in the top right hand corner, you need to be listed in order to, to take advantage of a stock market which means you need to comply with certain regulations and you need to be um, a company of a certain size, standing and quality. Therefore, if you are on a stock market, it increases your kudos, your, your public image. Easier to market yourself, perhaps. Disadvantages to stock and bond markets is that if you do want to be listed on one, and if you do want to take advantage of the funds and the trading opportunities that are available, these markets are regulated heavily. There's lots and lots of compliances, which just means rules and regulations that you need to observe. And that can take an awful lot of time and that can incur an awful lot of cost. And public image is positive if you do things properly, but the public image can be quite poor sometimes if you are actually seen to be not doing things properly. So there's regulation, time and cost involved, lots of compliances. So we looked at debt and equity, we looked a little bit at the bond markets and the, the, and the stock markets. We'll just go on and briefly talk about the role of advisors. This is, um, this is to do with the markets. Okay, If you're going to take advantage of a market and you're going to sell your shares in this market, then there are lots and lots of groups of people that will help you that will enable you to do it efficiently and effectively and, and make the most of the opportunities that are available to you. So first of all, there is a sponsor. And the sponsor is, as it says here, it's the lead advisor on the market. It's the person that sort of will help you with the overall coordination of your IPO or your placement. So they will give you advice and guidance as to how to operate in the market. There'll be a book runner. A book runner is essentially an underwriter. If you are an underwriter, then you guarantee something. So the book runner will help raise finance, will help perhaps set the price of the shares that you're going to sell. The book runner will also, if some shares don't get sold, they will guarantee to buy any of the unsold shares. So they're kind of there to uh, alleviate the risk, I suppose. There will be a reporting accountant. A reporting ac accountant will help you ensure that you're complying with the listing rules. Listing rules are the rules that you have to observe in order to be able to use the market. So the reporting accountant will tell you whether or not you're doing things correctly. There will be a lawyer. 
the lawyer will help you with any due diligence, any um, evaluating the reasonableness and the, the legalities of anything that you're going to get involved in. And the lawyers will obviously be there to give you any other legal advice that is that is required. Another thing that lawyers will do is a lot of the time when you issue shares on the open market in a, in a sort of listed exchange, you, you issue what's called a prospectus. You create a prospectus and the prospectus tells potential investors all about the share issue itself and how it's going to work. Um, and there will be some legal speak in there and the lawyers will help you making sure that that says what it should. You will probably also hire yourself a PR firm, a public relations firm, just to make sure that things run smoothly and you can market and you can advertise yourself properly. So the role of advisors within a market, there's a sponsor, there's a book runner, there's a reporting accountant, there's a lawyer, it's a PR firm. Looking at the summary, what have we done? We've looked at equity finance, which is share capital, but remember, preference share capital is sometimes going to get classified as debt. We looked at debt finance. We looked at the way in which the stock and bond markets work briefly. And we looked at the role of advisors within those stock and bond markets. So that concludes the um, chat about the first chapter, the sources of long-term finance.